news camera in New York City was at the future. Mm. They was running up on y'all when y'all pulled up in the with the bus? Yes. Yes. Osborne told us not to say nothing. He did all the talking. He did all the talk. You say I used to call it shaping? Yeah, shaping. And what was that like going down to the construction sites and, and throwing pressure down? Yeah. Yeah. And what year what year was this in like? Oh man, that was in the eighties. I, I don't know exactly, but I know it was around the time because um I, back then Akbar he was using like the future as 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 the headquarters for us to go beat up at. Cause they had a school bus. Mm. An old school bus. Oh, the future had his own school bus? Yeah, our boy was after the future like closed, he used to use that as like the headquarters for us to beat up everybody to meet up like from the ville or wherever. And and, and he, he would have a, um he would have his he had a driver that would drive us around to these construction sites. Mm. So you said one time y'all you said you said that was in Manhattan where the incident happened? Yeah, there's, um, we was we was on our way back to Brooklyn. This white dude rode up. He rode up on a um, 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 it was one of the mountain bikes. When them like when the mountain bikes first came out, the big the big ones, mm. and he rode up like on the driver's side. We was going, and he was coming against the traffic. And he, we seen we seen a gun, and he just got to start busting. So hold on, this was after y'all had left the construction site. Yeah. So what what did what exactly went down that day? Like y'all ran up on the site. Where was this? This was in Midtown. It was either Midtown or like Lower Manhattan. So y'all ran over there. Like y'all got into a confrontation when y'all got over there. It was um like we went to a site and we, you know Akbar and whoever else you know got off the bus and a few of us got off the bus. It was pr and pressured them to take to take a few of our people and put them to work for a couple of days or whatever whatever. So I guess they you know they. They wasn't, they wasn't trying to budge. So, you know, Akbar said, all right, you know, like, we'll try, you know, like, next day, next day, whatever. Like, we'll tr come up here and try tomorrow. And we got back on the bus, and we was going, we was on, heading on our way back to Brooklyn, going across the bridge. Then, out of nowhere, white boy, he come in, like, riding in, the, riding in the street. He was, like I said, he was riding against traffic. And he pulled the, pulled the gun out of his waistband and started busting up the school bus. Mm. While y'all was in motion or while it was parked? Like while it had stopped? While we was in motion. Mm. And you and, and, and what and, and you said somebody people got hit on the bus? Yeah, like like one one dude got shot in his side and one like he got bullet went through his hand. We dropped and then after you know, after that we, you know, back down the police, the two of them went to the hospital up there because we was gonna wait. Them dudes wanted to wait until we got back to Brooklyn. But Akbar talked to him and going to the hospital up there, you know, tell him it wasn't nothing going to happen to him. And then when we got the so, so, that hit, you know, because shit like that hits the wild, wildfires, make wildfires spread fast. As soon as we got back in, in Brownsville, was heading down the block, going, you know, dropping us off in front of the future. I, I bullshit you not. Damn it. Every news camera in New York City was at the future. Mm. They was running up on y'all when y'all pulled up in the with the bus? Yes. Yes. Osborne told us not to say nothing. He did all the talking. He did all the talking. That's crazy. You don't I, I I wonder if that footage is still out there. It probably is, man. Yeah. That's crazy, man. That's crazy. Yeah. So that, that's the type of stuff that that was going down on a regular basis with that. Like, how many years? How many years was Ogbar putting down that that type of fight? And when did they start? Like, eventually they started giving in and letting dudes work, though, right? Yeah, and then um, we protested. You no, know, when they put that um, that detention center, that, that the detention center across the street from the new seventy third precinct. Yeah, that 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 crossroads joint. Yeah, that's something like Spafford. We yeah. got out there and protested that because, you know, we didn't want that in our neighborhood. Uh, uh, the detention center, like right there, bro. Yeah, that's, Come on, man. That's toxic. And not only is it a detention center, but it's a detention center for, for the youth. 
So what yeah. type of message does that send the youth? Like y'all got a maximum security jail right in our community. I remember yeah. when that that where they built that at. You remember back in the days it used to be like a lot that had a bunch of headstones and tombstones in it. Yeah, I remember that. It used to be filled. We used to play in there. Like I don't know why they yeah. would dump headstones and tombstones in that particular lot, but yeah. e even that was crazy to be in the in the middle of the community. Yeah, a big, a big empty lot full of full of old tombstones. Who knows where those tombstones came from? Yeah, and we was playing all amongst them, and then they 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 they, they tore that, they took that out of there, and built something even worse, a, a maximum security jail. Yeah. So yeah, that's crazy. But I didn't know y'all was protesting that. That's real. Yeah, we protested that, and then we, that went on for a couple of days. But uh, even after our, you know, our efforts. Which failed because they went ahead and, and built it anyway and opened it up. Yeah, man, that's crazy. That's crazy, man. And a lot of dudes know Arc Ball from, you know, education of Sonny Carson and stuff like that, but they don't know yeah. they don't know how much history he really had. Oh yeah, he had a whole lot of history. I need he did a I whole need, lot of things. I need some of that, my bro. I need that God body history, because I know he's responsible for half of the Ville being God body. Oh yes, oh yes. More than half. Yes. And that, that that was the head. That that was the five percent headquarters. Definitely, definitely. But yeah, my 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 bro Octavius is powerful son. Yeah. Let me let me let me just point this out real quick. When it comes to Boo Bear, you are the very first person that I'm going to speak and talk about you with about him, you know what I mean, because it's very, very touchy subject, it's very sticky, and that right there, I tend to not to, um, not to, uh, tolerate any motherfucking wrong talking about that man's name, or his person, you know what I mean, because that's how dear I am to him, you know what I mean, like, true brothers, the man is a man of respect, and he was a fighter, the man was a true warrior. He's a true champion at heart. And he was very intelligent and plus he was a thinker. You know what I mean? He was a, he was a straight up leader, man. That was born to fight. Was very skilled, nice with his hands, man. Very crafty. He was a craft man, man. You know what I mean? And he was very sharp in math, mathematics. Mm. But when it came to him being in school or whatever, you know what I'm saying? The teacher would throw you a math test or something like that. He'd just zip right through the math test and zoom right through it. Next thing you know, the paperwork is right there up on the teacher's desk. He done completed and finished the whole math test. You know what I mean? Mm. That's how that's how that's how shrewd he was. And his his a lot of people don't know that though. You know what I mean? Yeah, I never knew stuff like that. This is why I be needing to talk to dudes like you, cause I never knew yeah, stuff man. like that. Man, these gems, man. Whatever, whatever information I give you, man, is for you. You know what I mean? If it, 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 it could go, it could go throughout the planet. It could go, it could go global. It could go public, wherever. But I'm, I'm giving it to you from, 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 from a young, a younger brother from the projects where I grew up at. You know what I mean? That raised me where my roots is at. You know what I mean? I always go back to my roots. That's the reason I was over there a second ago, because I had to go back to my roots. Breathe, look around, and observe. You know what I mean? And and, and, and and just keep everything in memory. You know what I'm saying? I, I got a very sharp memory. That's one thing about me. Even though after I did that long bid, I always kept a very sharp, strong memory, man. And that's key. You know what I mean? How much time you did straight again? Man, St. Laz, man. Man. Man, I gotta, man, I, I, I got, I gotta breathe on this one, man. First bid, Saint Last, they gave me six to eighteen, man. I maxed out eighteen years, man. I did everything on Damn. the max out, man. Damn. Yeah, man. Every time I went to go make an appearance and reappearance, from the first board all the way to the sixth board, they kept hitting me. So twenty-four they, months. They took good Two time. Years, they, they took good time for you. You had like mad tier man, threes or something? Man, Gilmore and them people, man. I was catching I was catching all type of tier threes, man. I was catching all type of tickets, St. Lads, man. Weapons, tickets. 
I was fighting tickets, everything, all type, everything, man. Bird, man. Harassment, oh, they was writing me up for all type of shit, man. But the thing about it is, I got lucky. This is where I got lucky at. Because they caught me with a half a ox inside my sneaker. Mm. Going to motherfucking wreck. Word up, man. What, what jail was that? I was in, that was in Southport at the time. I was in and out of SAQ at the time. You know what I mean? That was in the box, man. That was in Southport. Yeah, man. And that was 1998. Know what I mean? Mm. I was there in 1997, too. Know what I mean? But the thing is, see, the thing about me, St. Laz, I don't run from shit. I don't run from nothing. Because I know that bid that I did wasn't for me, man. That wasn't my bid to do. Know what I'm saying? One crime I did, the other crime I didn't do. But they ran all that shit together, concurrent, consecutive. And that motherfucking judge, when that judge seen, oh, this nigga on some attempted murder on NYPD type shit. Oh, well, I'm giving, the judge told me, nigga, you go to trial, you blow, I'm giving you everything. Man, so that's, therefore I was forced to cop out on the motherfucking crime that I didn't commit, man. On one of them, you know what I mean? Word up, man. I was framed all the way around the motherfucking board, man. That shit got me pissed off to this fucking day, man. You that mean... shit fucked my life up. It fucked my generational. It fucked up my grandchildren life, my daughter life. You know what I'm saying? All that shit is like a fucking trickle down effect. Word up, man. So like they, dominoes, what they, man. What they, they lied and said that you shot police? Yeah, man. Talking about started going around with the cop shot mobile with a big ass picture post on the side of the cop shop mobile driving through Brownsville project everywhere all the PJs in motherfucking Brownsville what year was that? With my, what, that's 1992 man yeah I, I remember that I remember that clear man. as day I remember that clear as day that you now that you mention that I remember 92 that cop shop van was going crazy yo man that messed my that ruined my life man that's, that right there single handedly yeah, that shit just cold fucked my whole life up, man. It took my youth. It stole my youth from me. You know what I mean? It stole a whole bunch of time from me. And it stole time from me being in my daughter's life and raising my seed. You know what I mean? Now she got a grand a grandson of mine. You know what I mean? Hmm. Word up. That 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 I ain't I didn't see yet. I don't I don't I don't know his name or no nothing, man. That shit is like I I I take that as disrespect, you know what I mean? By the time I got home, she was graduating, going to her prom, her senior prom, man. That's how much time I did. That shit wasted my life, man. Well, we got, even though I got skilled in there, you know what I mean? Learned some things, mostly being in there, man, learning by mistakes. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, learning by mistakes. Just kept, that shit was like like, like a fucking learning mechanism. Or dudes in, in, inside there, dudes inside the motherfucking matches or whatever population you going through. It was like, yo, you, you might hear a few dudes. I know I heard a f couple dudes, a few dudes. Yo, man, jail make you a man. Jail make you a man. I said, man, jail don't make no fucking man. You could be a man in society. You could be a man in the street. You know what I mean? Don't, don't, don't never tell, let nobody tell you that jail make you a man. You, you come to jail, you read a bunch of books, you read literature. Okay, you could be in the street reading a bunch of literature. You know what I'm saying? Consuming the science and, and knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Getting your mind right, getting your vision right in order. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Word up, man. You prefer to be, you prefer to be raised. If you if you got a son or daughter, you prefer to be out there. You know what I mean? Feeding them, feeding your children, man. They got mad cause I got away. So being that I got away, then I threw I threw my weapon. You know what I mean? And the dude almost had me. The motherfucking long leg ass fucking pussy ass cop that was chasing me on the side, out the side of his door, cause when they rolled up on me, he had the squad car, blue and white car from 92, the square, the square box car that they had back then. Mm -hmm. And he rolled up, he rolled up in the projects with no headlights. And so I'm on a pedal bike. I'm just cooling cause we brought two pedal bikes from the old, 
bike shop right there with the old dread, you know what I mean? On Mother Gas and mm. picking. And now we driving through, but I didn't belong over there at that time because they was looking for me, you know what I mean? For a robbery. For my old boss, the nigga fired me, I got pissed off. And uh, I pistol whipped the motherfucker. I tied him up. I duct taped him, pistol whipped him. He fired me without no pay. And at the time, my soon to be wife, my daughter's mother, she was, she was pregnant, nine months pregnant at the time. So I got pissed off. And I tied the dude up, let the dude have it. And I snatched this motherfucking wallet. You know what I mean? Cause, oh, of course he fired me. But I should have left that fucking bullshit ass job any fucking way. You know what I mean? But in any event, as they was proceeding, you know what I'm saying? They was trying to motherfucking pursue me. And me and Tall Boy was over there standing by the motherfucking gate over there where they used to shoot dice at. Over there near the phone and shit, right? Where everybody used to hang out at. Or a lot of people used to be over there at the time at that moment. And so it was nighttime. And so. This, that officer name was Smalls. I got him on my police report too, man. So when, when I shoot my scene, I want that whole scripture to be right and let these people know, you know what I'm saying? The way I'm putting it forth to the public is to show them how they railroaded me, man. They did me dirty. That precinct, even though it's nothing new under the sun, they did many men dirty, you know what I'm saying? They, they used to step inside Dobie's, the limelight. Used to be a club right there on the other side of uh, Mother Gas, and right across the street from, from Howard and yeah, shit. You talking about and right where that little to, right where that little mechanic spot is at. Right where the mechanic spot is at, right there. Every Friday, every Saturday night, the police used to roll up in there and walk out with a bag of money every Saturday night. That's how corrupt the motherfuckers were. Mm. And they driving from up the street. Yeah, man. With an old school supermarket paper bag full of money and just walk out. Like nothing never happened and shit, man. And then the motherfuckers going and, and railroad me talking about that I shot at him. I didn't take no fucking shot at him. Nobody got in the fucking ambulance. No ambulance was calling nothing. And then the motherfuckers falsified evidence and all this because they had my weapon. So they tried to use that bullshit. Well, my weapon wasn't fired that night because my shit was on safety. When it hit the ground, my shit still was on safety. They bust the shot after I got away. And he grabbed the top of my collar, you know what I'm saying, to my army coat, and he hit the ground. After he hit the ground, I continued running. The stupid asshole must have fired a shot or one of his backup reinforcements must have fired a shot. You know what I mean? So I, I've been a fugitive ever since then for like a month. You know what I'm saying? A month and a half, a month and some change, man. Yeah, man, it, it was real ugly, man. The way they did it, man, on some demonic shit to get me, man. Word up. It's some crazy, sellout, man. some cool ass sellout shit. Yeah, man, the shit, the shit, the, I'm just, just disgusted behind it. The dudes mean? is filthy, man. They filthy. Even when I caught my case, you feel me? I'm in there for an accident, and these dudes, they, I'm 16 years old. You know, this is before it was cameras in the interrogation room. Now I mean, like these dudes pulling out their gun, pointing a loaded gun at me. You feel what I'm saying? Like telling me, so how was you pointing the gun? And they pointing the gun at my face, like to try to scare me up, laughing and shit like that. Telling my moms, I ain't never coming home. At my moms come to the precinct crying her eyes out, and they telling her, your son ain't never coming home. Like I'm like just foul grease ball. Know what I mean? Devil type of shit that the 73rd was doing, man. They was just some foul that whole dudes. system is garbage from top to bottom. Like, like straight up, man. That, that precinct done fucked up a lot of real grown men lives, man. Straight up. I'm talking about from framing them, throwing bodies on niggas, and all type of trifling, foul, bitch, pussy-ass cop police shit. Work up, man. That's man. <laughs> but 
But at the same time, a lot of people don't know that who being Dementio, they had big respect for one another. But don't you know, they never talked to one another. They never said a word to one another, but at the same moment, they had big respect for each other. And I, I believe that's something that's supposed to have connected right there, man. Straight up, man. Them two together, or even as individuals, supposed to have a fortune, running a Fortune 500 company, man. Mm. Just like Frank Matthews. They had that They had that type of brain and mindset. They used to see each other, though? Yeah, they used to see each other sometimes. They used to see each other just, 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 just. Because when I used to drive through there, Rube used to always be with me. This before he got this, before he got his vehicle, his, his all Ford or Black Pathfinder. Before he got that, he used to always be driving with me. You know what I mean? And man, I, I got, I got to dig up, I got to dig up some old flicks, man, so I can show you, man. I show you some real live footage, man, from some years, man. Got some history, man. You know what I'm saying? We got, I gotta go, I gotta go dig, dig deep in the archive. It's, we used to be over there in Albany because who had another, a, a, another homie over there is, they used to be hustling in the, they had like a pool room over there on the other side of Albany, you know what I'm saying? From, uh, from Troy Avenue side, the other side, you know what I mean? Mm. And we used to be over there just chilling, just be cooling out over there and shit, making rounds or whatever. And the missy used to come through one day I was sitting in the vehicle and he was walking across the street and shit. I thought he was gonna walk up to the vehicle and I think he was going to the store where Boo was at and shit, man. But yeah, man, a lot of people don't know, man, that them them two, them two men right there, they really respected one another, man. Each other, for real. They respect they have big time respect for each other, man. But they never, they never, never spoke to each other. They never hung out together or none of that shit. Word up. Yeah, man, sometimes it go that way. Sometimes, sometimes it happens that way, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Word up, it was no dis, it was no dislike, no slander, no two-faced and shit, no backbiting and none of that shit. Word up, man. Two real motherfuckers getting money is only logic, man. You know what I'm saying? That's facts, that's, that's, that's big information, my bro, because I had no idea that them dudes ever even cross paths in traffic like you feel what i'm saying so to that shit is that's that's deep shit man st Laz, man it was it was man i would give i would give right now i wish i could press a reset button on my life i know a lot of other men do also man a lot of other real men wish they could they could hit that reset button man and go back the last 20 20 plus years you know what i mean that's a fact. Yeah, man. And, and you know, the loyalty. Sometimes I, I, I don't, I don't like to talk about the word loyalty because, you know, what I'm saying a lot of I, I see, I, I see difference out here. But the loyalty with me and with us was 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 un, unbearable. You know what I'm saying? That loyalty was something vicious that we that that we had and that we still got amongst even at a young age, man. Hold up, cause I'm, I'm what I'm doing, man. I'm out here to prevail, man. Straight up, man. I'm out here to live. I'm out here to breathe until a motherfucker can't breathe no more. And that's that. Straight up, man. I hang out around a graveyard, man. Day and night. That's where I be at. I hang out around a graveyard. In, in Inside or outside. Either or, man. Mm. That's how personal it is with me, man. Word up. I jog around the graveyard. I walk around. I hang out in the graveyard, man. Cause that's where everybody gonna go at the end of the day. I don't give a fuck a multi-billionaire, a motherfucking multi-millionaire. I don't give a fuck about what type of vehicle you got, what you drive. I don't care about what your threads, your clothes. I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, man. At the end of the day, a motherfucker going to the graveyard. That's it, that's that. I don't care how young you are, I don't care how old you are. At the end of the day, when it's all said and done, your very last breath, go to the morgue, get that tag put on your toe, or you go to the graveyard, man, and that's it. Go in the dirt. And the motherfucker so used to dirt, dirt is nothing. I excavate, so I move I move the material around. I move the soil around with my excavating machines. I move the dirt around. I move the muck around. 
even if it comes down to the shovel. You know what I mean? When I went to when I went to Otisville, I went to up up the hill in Otisville. That's the federal penitentiary. After they after they transferred Boo who being up to from MCC from low from lower deck Manhattan up to Otisville. That's that's right above right next to Sing Sing. You know what I mean? And I was going there to visit him. I mean, I brought I brought one of his one of his women, one of his young women, up there to visit him too. And when I got up to Otisville, man, you should have seen the expression that he put on, man. He was like, man, he was so glad to see me. He's like, man, son, represented. You know what I'm saying? That's what he told me, man. Hold up, yo, man, St. Lads, man, I'm telling you this story, man, cause it, it, it ain't it ain't never it ain't never come from me to somebody else, man. You know what I mean? That's why that's the reason I I don't mind. I don't mind being on your platform and expressing and let you know what was happening while you was a youngster. You know what I'm saying? The things that we was doing. And it's way more than this. It's way more than this, man. I, man, we 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 need we need another 24 hours for me to for, for me to unravel and unleash this true story, man. You know what I mean? This this right here could be a straight cinematic film. This right here could be a movie. And them Europeans. They was driving straight from Long Island, wherever they reside at, mostly Long Island, and coming through to a Brooklyn hood, through a Brooklyn ghetto neighborhood, you know what I mean? To just arrest people for nothing, for nothing at all, and throw them, incarcerate them, throw them, lock them up, and put them in prison, and having them do long prison stints for nothing, for innocence, you know what I mean? And don't you know that a lot of motherfuckers that got all type of murders thrown on them, and all these different homicides, multiple homicides, a lot of dudes just came home from a lot of them homicides, man. And plus, a lot of them dudes won their motherfucking case, overturned, exonerated, and all type of shit. It's motherfuckers that got these, man. See, the thing about it, man, the motherfuckers, they use my own motherfucking mother, St. Last, to turn me the fuck in, man. They use my own mom. They put her under fucking pressure. Instead of her blowing the whistle, she went on ahead and believed them cocksuckers, man. With that fucking big ass lie that they told. That's all it was, was a big ass lie. Mm, yeah, mm, man. Mm. Just, That's crazy. Just, just to get me off the streets. And, and at the time, I was 21 years old, man. I was young, working, I had a motherfucking occupation, and I was grinding, hustling too. You know what I mean? But at the same time, keeping it more on the legitimate side. You know what I'm saying? And the motherfuckers couldn't catch me, man. And they got annoyed. Mm. Word up. The motherfuckers start acting like babies, laying on their fucking stomach, kicking their feet up backwards and shit. And banging their two fucking hands on the ground in front of them and shit like that. Yeah, man. They railroaded the shit out of me, man. Had my, had my daughter, mother, and she gave birth. Lucky thing I stayed out there long enough, man, to cut the umbilical cord when my daughter was born, man. Word up at, 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 at Downstate Hospital, man. After I cut the umbilical cord, they sent me to the island. I did a year in the island, and they sent me straight up motherfucking upstate, man. Caught the bus from the four building, you know what I'm saying? And from C95 to the four building, and they shipped my ass upstate. That's a few months after my daughter was born, man. Word up. I ain't, I ain't get a chance to change her diaper. You know what I'm saying? I ain't get a chance to feed her, clean her, or change her pamper or nothing, man. Me being a father, me being a, a daddy, you know what I'm saying? The motherfucker swiped me straight off the fucking streets, man. Because that's what he wanted me in fucking prison doing time. For some some second innocent shit. The first shit, the first shit, they, they couldn't catch me for the first thing neither. Wrote up, man. After all the thousands that the motherfuckers done did, man. Now, m- most of them are retired. If not all of them are retired officers and shit, but you still know they out to fuck up people's lives. And I'm gonna let the public know. The public humiliation that I was faced with, I'm gonna return it and shoot it right back at them. I'ma cook they motherfucking ass. Mint was running behind me. Written like Mint was like, nah, Daniel, he ain't, Daniel ain't shoot at the police. He ain't shoot at the police. They lying. They lying. One of my aunts ran behind me. He said, no, no, I ain't shoot. He, he ain't shoot at them cops. He ain't shoot at them cops. Why they telling that? Why they telling that lie like that? I had a few people out there that was standing out there around the circle, too. I said, yo, man, we see you. We see you running. Yo, man, we, we, 
Yo, why the fuck the niggas lie with all that shit, talking all that cop shot shit, man? Did all that fucking extra unnecessary time for nothing, man. But you said the Word, the man. shot that went off from when he fell, he did get hit? He got hit by a shot? He didn't get... They made it seem that way, but he didn't get hit. No. no ambulance was on the scene. So he ain't even... They, they, they took him out of tent murder and nobody even got no bullet holes in them? Like he ain't had no evidence of getting shot at all? He just tried to say you threw shots at him? At all. That was the straight railroad. No ambulance at all. That's crazy, bro. They need. They can't show medical records. Nothing that he got shot. None of that. He got the. They got the answer for that one. And I'm gonna present my paperwork too. I'm gonna present my paperwork on his lens, on his camera lens, man. And I'm gonna show the people, man. Straight up, man. 